Yes, so this is your boy Comedian Privilege on AKA Akan Isiwa is not there, AKA Aristide Brethren. Uh, listen to me. In case you have a brother or sister or friend where they stay for Indian, you need to put a call through to reach out to them to know how they are doing. Because as we speak, the Indian police, they're the key Nigerians for them. Uh, they're the key Nigerians unjustly. And the government of India is not doing anything about it. Now, look at this. This is what Nigerians are currently going through in India. See the way police are brutalizing Nigerians, beating them with sticks like animals. <laughs> And they tell us, say, Buhari just traveled to UK for 19 days vacation for, for medical treatment. I take us, I know. The same president that they want to renovate refinery with 720 billion. See the way that they treat the people. See, Anna? <laughs> what I'm telling you people now is that the way the Indian police are dealing with Nigerians living in India is so unfair. Because at this and only Nigeria police brutality day. I don't know say the only worst. Just look at this man. Huh? This man was killed unjustly. Unjustly. Look at the way they are look at the way they are treating Nigerians. Beating them like animals. What did they do? Indian. If not be see finish. Indian. 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 Suppose, suppose they, they, they treat Nigerians the way they like. If not, we say our leaders they fail to put this country in order. Basically, we are bath, we are shed. Enter plane, say they go India. Wait till they India. If you don't know, let me update you. That we only have about 50,000 Nigerians living in India. But in Nigeria, we have over 1 million Indians living in Nigeria. They are not just living here, they are enjoying freedom. They are enjoying peace. They, they establish business up and down. Then they fuck our guests. They give the belly. Things that we cannot do there. They are doing it here. Some of them, they even employ some of our police. They use them as escort and bodyguard. And their police for that side, they treat Nigerians like animals. Busting their houses, invading their privacy, beating them like goats. Nobody's doing anything about it. How can you just stop someone along the road because they're a foreigner? You ask them for money, they not give you. When I begin beat them. You don't beat, pe you, you don't beat person to death. As we speak now, a lot of Nigerians are in prison in India. Go boys and get so. They are they just there, they don't do anything. They, they, they use money, they pay them. The ones who don't get money, they there, they suffer. And Nigeria government is not doing anything about it. Oh, I remember when Good Luck was a president of Nigeria. He threatens to deploy all Indians from Nigeria. If not, we say one or two things got solved that time. He got relaxed. Now, this government, they, they all they do like that, they don't see anything. All the see finish when Nigerians they go through for other countries. Our leaders like Kosa. Now, now Kosa, because if we now fix this country for us, we now travel to another country. Now, I want to ask a question. Why are other countries always seeing Nigerians as threat? We are the people that came up with Black Lives Matter. We now never start that protest. So, because they just kill one of us now for India. Many full set, prison, suffering. I sincerely sympathize with my brothers and sisters, every Nigerian living in India who is currently going through pains, the ones in prison unjustly. We they pray for now. As we speak now, someone is on coma. Somebody's daughter that left home to feed home. Now they want from home. They go send her food and money. Why? And this say Indian, they are here moving up and down. I'm not saying this to instigate war or to, to instigate any, any bad thing. I'm just saying this so that we can do the right thing. Let my own government, Nigeria government, should take drastic actions. They should do what they need to do. Our people cannot be in India suffering. And we have ambassador in that country. They get ambassador here. What is now the work of these people? Because the work of ambassadors now to bring peace between two nations. Now, Nigeria government, that they do like say they know they see what they happen. Indian government are behaving as if what they are doing is right. What is now the essence of having ambassadors to nations? What will be the use of our office if we cannot live together in peace? 
Why are nations always see black people as a threat? Not crime to black. Things where we fight against here, where we say they don't even stop now. Now they got to do for India. You just enter somebody's house, you bust them, you invade their privacy, you 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 start to they molest them. And now people fool here. I'm using this medium to call on Nigeria government and the Indian government to resolve this issue as soon as possible. All the Nigerians that you people arrested unlawfully that are currently in your prison, you people should release them. Because you people cannot continue to treat Nigerians living in your country like animals, like homeless people, while your people in Nigeria are enjoying VIP treatment, enjoying freedom, enjoying security, while Nigerians living there are not safe. I'm very sure now that if you come to Nigeria and check our prison, you won't find any Indian person there. Nigeria is a peaceful place. We have made our country a peaceful place for foreigners to stay. So you people should make your country peaceful for Nigerians to live. Black life matter. Nigeria's life matter. I think the Indian police and the Indian people, they need orientation. This mentality of I can just kill anybody, I can just do anything to anybody and nothing will happen. It has to stop. This is not the first time the Indian people are having issues with Nigeria, issues like this. So the Indian people, you people need to be reoriented. What did they bring all this nonsense? You think you people can just take laws into your hands, treat foreigners the way you like, and other countries, you people are everywhere, enjoying peace? No, 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 it has to stop. I'm a man of peace, and I come in peace. Indian government, when I follow up this case, oh.